Saul was the king of Israel, but he had disobeyed God. So God told Samuel to fill a horn with oil and go to Bethlehem. A man named Jesse lived there. God had chosen one of Jesse's sons to be Israel's next king. God said, visit Jesse and his sons. I will show you which one I have chosen. Samuel went to Bethlehem and met with Jesse and his sons. Jesse's oldest son was tall and handsome. When Samuel saw him, he thought, this must be the one God chose to be king. But God told Samuel, he's not the one. Do not pay attention to what he looks like. You look at what you can see on the outside, but I see the heart. Jesse brought out his next son to Samuel, but Samuel said the Lord hasn't chosen him either. One by one, Jesse's sons approached Samuel. Each time, Samuel said the Lord hasn't chosen him either. Do you have any more sons? Samuel asked. Yes, Jesse said. My youngest son, David, is in the field taking care of the sheep. Jesse sent for David. When David arrived, God told Samuel, he's the one. Samuel anointed David. He poured oil on David's head to show God had chosen him to be the king. The spirit of the Lord was with David and Samuel went back home. Now, King Saul was bothered by an evil spirit. Saul's servants thought Saul might feel better if he listened to beautiful music. One of Saul's officials knew that Jesse's son David could play the lyre. So David came to Saul, and whenever Saul felt troubled, David played his lyre, and Saul felt better. Samuel anointed David, setting him apart to be the next king. God's choice for Israel's king was surprising. David was the youngest in his family, but God saw David's heart for the Lord. When Jesus came to earth, he seemed like a surprising choice for a king. Jesus is the perfect king who saves us from our sin and reigns forever.